day to everyone. Welcome to Woodrose International School. Hi, how are you grade 6? This is teacher Monique and today we are going to learn about punctuation marks. What is punctuation? Punctuation is used to create sense, clarity, and stress in sentences. You use punctuation mark to structure and organize your writing. Let us discuss the different types of punctuation marks. The most common type of punctuation mark is period, or sometimes we call it full stop. And it is look like this. The period is placed at the end of declarative or imperative sentence thought to be complete and after many abbreviations. Examples. Take a look at these examples. First sentence Jane and Jack went to the market. This sentence is a declarative or a telling sentence. This is how we are going to place the period or full stop because this sentence is complete. Please give me my wallet. This is a kind of imperative sentence which is asking, request or command. Take a look where we are going to place the period or full stop. This is also a complete sentence. That's why we are going to place the period at the end. Abbreviation means shortening the word. We have Dr. Mr. Junior December. After the shortened word, we are going to place the period or full stop. Dr. Reyes and Mr. Jonas had a serious conversation today. Dr. Mr. The second type is question mark. Use a question mark to indicate a direct question when placed at the end of a sentence. Examples What is your name? Where can I find this address? Where is your umbrella? The third type is exclamation point. The exclamation point is used when a person wants to express a sudden outcry or add emphasis. Yeah, hey, we won the game. What a beautiful day. Comma. Comma is used to show a separation of ideas or elements in a sentence. I saw a plate, spoon, and a glass of water on the table. There are apples, bananas, oranges, and strawberries in the basket. We can also use comma after introductory adverbs. Say for example, finally, I went running. However, we cannot deny the truth. We can also use comma when attributing quotes. Example, I saw a duck, said my brother. Another type is colon. A colon is used before a list or quote. 
Example, he was planning to study four subjects, politics, philosophy, sociology, and economics. There are many punctuation marks, period, comma, colon, and others. A colon is used to separate hours or minutes. Example, the time is 2.15 a.m. She will arrive at 12.30 p.m. A colon is also used to separate elements of a mathematical ratio. Example, the ratio of girls to boys is 3 is to 2. The ratio of apples to oranges is 5 is to 4. Semicolon A semicolon is used to connect independent clauses. It shows a closer relationship between the clauses. What is independent clause? Independent clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate. For example, the lady crosses the street. The lady is the subject or the doer of action. While crosses the street is the predicate, which tells what the subject is doing. In other words, this is a complete sentence. For example, John was hurt. He knew she only said it to accept him. This is one sentence, but it is divided into two independent clauses. First is John was hurt. Second is he knew she only said it to accept him. And it is connected by a semicolon. It was called, they really want to go home. The first independent clause is, it was called. The second one is, they really want to go home. And it is connected by a semicolon. Hyphen Hyphen is a punctuation mark that's used to join words or parts of words into a compound term and it's not separated by spaces. Examples I found a part-time job in the city. Take a look at the compound word part-time. It is separated by a hyphen. It was made by a well-known artist. Well-known. The 16-year-old girl is a full-time student. 16-year-old, full-time. We have a 2-year-old child. 2-year-old. Take a look how we place hyphen in its compound words. Dash. A dash is used to separate words into statements. There are two common types of dashes, n dash and m dash. n dash and m dash differs from hyphen. Take a look at their length of each of them. How do we use dash? In this chart, you will see the difference between n dash and m dash. For n dash, it can be used for period of time. We lived in this town from 1998-2009. Now, sometimes we read this as, he lived in this town from 1998-2009. to 2009. Range of numbers. You could choose Two numbers from 1-50. Scores. The red team won 3-1 this match. Distance. Europe-USA is a long flight. 
How about M dash? To break in a sentence, we can use M dash. Please call my supervisor, M dash, Janice, on Friday. Or emphasis, my mom loves fish, dash, my dad loves beef. Sudden chains of thought. I had a great vacation in Bali. Oh, is that your dog? He's so cute. Marking of unimportant words. To get to New York from here, dash, you are heading there, right? Dash, you need a car or a train. Parenthesis. In, for informal name, we call it bracket. Parentheses are used to enclose information. It clarifies or is used as an aside. Each curve is called parentheses. However, parentheses can be replaced by commas without changing the meaning in most cases. Say for example, John and Jane, open parentheses, who are actually half brother and sister, close parentheses, both have red hair. We can also write it like this. John and Jane, comma, who were actually half-brother and sister, comma, both have red hair. See how we are, play, we are going to place the parentheses. Mr. Brown, let's open parentheses. The caretaker, close parentheses, shouted. We can also write it like this. Mr. Brown, comma, the caretaker, shouted. Apostrophe. An apostrophe is used to indicate the omission of a letter or letters from a word or the possessive case. Say for example, omission of letters from a word, it is, we remove I and change to apostrophe. Now we have it's, she is, remove I, change to apostrophe, now we have she's. We are, became where? For possessive case, Sarah's dog beat the neighbor. Whose dog? Sarah's dog. Her daughter's hair is long. Whose daughter? Hers. Quotation marks. Quotation marks are also known as speech marks. The words spoken are enclosed in quotation marks. For example, I have already seen it. John replied. Open quotation mark. Closing quotation mark. I have already seen it are the words spoken by John. Where have you been today? Open quotation mark. Closing quotation mark. Where have you been today? Ask my mother. Come here. Open. Close. And last but not the least, ellipsis. An ellipsis, or in plural, we call it Ellipsis is a punctuation mark consisting of three dots. Use an ellipsis when omitting a word, phrase, line, paragraph, or more from a quoted passage. If it is full quotation, Today, after hours of careful thought, we veto the bill. With ellipsis, Today, three dots, we voted the bill. If you will notice, we remove after hours of careful thought and replace it with ellipsis. It lets the reader imagine the missing details.
You had better finish your homework or else. It builds suspense. Cautiously, they open the box. Now let's have a short exercise. In your screen, you will see two columns, text without punctuation mark and text with punctuation mark. What is your mean? What do you think is the missing punctuation mark here? If you're thinking about question mark, you are correct. I like to see the dolphins. What do you think is the punctuation mark that's missing in this sentence? Correct. It's period or full stop. We harvested bananas, strawberries, apples, and grapes. The missing punctuation marks or mark is I have come to see you, said Martin. The correct answer is quotation marks. Activities for punctuation mark is available in Thank you for watching the video. Remember, learning never stops. Goodbye!